hypothesis, I feel, according to some people, confident that I can just go on and do nine ANOVAs. And we can see for verbal one, the F value is equal to 62.27, and the P value, P less than 0 0.001, and partial A to squared of 0.168. All right, so I've rejected the null hypothesis. The three groups, some, like somewhere along amongst the three groups, there's at least one significant difference between them on verbal test one. In fact, they're all significant. Across all nine dependent variables, the ANOVA found uh, statistically significant differences somewhere. We don't know where, but it's somewhere. And we can see the eta squareds here. They tend to be bigger with the verbal subscales, and then they kind of trail off. There's one subscale over here, the uh, one spatial subscale, that seems to be a bit bigger than the other ones with a partial eta squared of 0.137. So once you get your significant ANOVAs, usually you don't get all of them significant, usually it's only a few, but once you get your significant ANOVAs, you then want to do your postdoc tests to look at the individual mean differences on all dependent variables that were statistically significant. So in this case, verbal one, we can see that there's statistically significant differences on all uh, comparisons between the groups. So undergrads and masters have a difference of uh, negative 1.22, a mean difference of negative 1.22, so undergrads are less smart than masters, and it's significant at p equal 0 0.00, or p less than 0 0.001, and in fact, so these are the differences for all combinations of the first uh, dependent variable. So PhD and undergrad, difference of 2.89 in the means, and the significance level of p less than 0 0.001. And PhD and Masters, they're also different. A difference of 1.67, and it's significant at point, P less than 0 0.001. They're all different, in fact. If we go down the whole list, all my mean comparisons are different. This one's probably the least different. The undergrads and Masters on uh, Spatial Tests 3 only had a P equal 0 0.031. Now, whether you decide to do Bonferroni corrections here or not is up to you. But some people, a lot of people argue, you do the MANOVA first, and then you go on to do as much analyses as you want because you're protected, because you've got a significant ANOVA. And then you just do all of your t-tests to your, heart, your ANOVAs first. And then once you get significant ANOVAs, you follow it up with significant t, t or you look for t-tests, mean comparisons, individual comparisons amongst the means for each dependent variable. And along, no, along there, you don't do any Bonferroni corrections. Now, that's one way to do the MANOVA, and that's the first approach that I talked about. It's the most commonly used way of using MANOVA. But the more interesting way, and the more justifiable way, in my opinion, is to use the more old school uh, method in SPSS. You can't actually do it in uh, with the GUI, with the graphical user interface, you actually have to use the syntax. And I've already written up the syntax, so I wouldn't have to um, waste any, any time on that. So here is the syntax that you would use to do the MANOVA in the interesting way, so that you can uncover a meaningful uh, underlying dependent variable that makes use of the correlations amongst the dependent variables and the core, the effects of the independent variable. Now I'll put this syntax uh, either on the summary of the YouTube page or on a corresponding uh, web page so that you can just copy this. So it's basically MANOVA and I'll also put some description. It's basically all the dependent variables by the independent variable. And I've got one to three levels. Okay, and then I've got, I've got some other stuff here that I'm going to look at to actually make for a meaningful MANOVA analysis. So I'm going to highlight this, and then I'm going to run it as a selection. Uh, and SPSS is making this error. I don't know why it does this, but um, I'm going to have to um, shut this down and reopen it. For whatever reason, SPSS does this error. It's actually nothing wrong with the syntax, but I'll just I'll I'll, re I'll, I'll come back in a second and and uh, after I close down SPSS, and I'll go through the analysis again.